Okay, so I guess before we dive deep into Maya, it's a good idea to talk about what exactly Maya is. What is Maya? Maya is a 3D content creation application. Ha! That's vague. <laughs> vague and a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. Maya is basically a modeling application. It's an animation application. Mm -hmm. It's an effects application. Mm -hmm. And it's a rendering application. All rolled into one nice, neat, awesome package. Indeed. That's a nice definition. I, I'll totally go with that. So all of these really cool words that I just said, things like modeling, effects, etc. What, what exactly am I mean? Yeah, what am I talking about? Well, right now we've got one of the projects up that you guys are going to be working on. That's right. This is Project 2. This is Project 2, where an alien comes down and abducts a beach ball. The abduction. Which is really, really cool. Fun project. We are using a lot. Well, actually, we're using everything that I just mentioned mm -hmm. that Maya is made up of in this particular project. Modeling. That means we've come in here and we have constructed an alien ship. That's right. Okay. Not only that, but if I was to jump over into another camera, don't worry, you guys are going to learn how to do all of these really super cool things coming up really soon. But I can have my very own alien creature that I've made. Oh, yeah. So you've seen movies like Toy Story, Monster Inc., etc. I mean, movies like that have these digital characters mm -hmm. that run around digital sets and act and perform and et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. We can do all of those things inside of Maya. Those characters are models. So here you guys are going to learn how to construct your own ship. You're going to learn how to construct your own characters. You're going to learn how to animate your characters, how to bring these characters to life. Not only that, but you're also going to learn some of the technical aspects behind bringing a character to life. You're going to learn about rigging, mm -hmm. what's required to give the character the means of coming to life so that he will basically provide an easy means of animation. Well, it's like a way to take the model that you've constructed and turn it into a digital puppet. Yeah, how do you throw a skeleton in it and, yeah. and hook up all the wires you need so that you there can you control go. it? We're going to take a look at all of that stuff throughout this course. Effects. Man, we've seen so many movies these days when it comes to effects. <laughs> Independence Day... Um, you name the movie Star these Wars days. movies. Episode 3 had so many effects in the first 20 minutes, it's just like, wow. Yeah, I mean, effects, it's really, really a broad area. Yeah. Anything from making it digitally snow, which you guys are going to do. Explosions. Oh, Explosions. you're going to do that too. Yeah. Um, footprints in snow. Yeah. You know, done digitally. That, that's one we're going to that, do. That's another effect. Uh, a really cool beam effect that's going to pull the ball up. Yet another effect. Maya offers an extremely flexible dynamics package built in. Absolutely. Allowing you to set up dynamic simulations that mimic real world type objects that collide with other objects and what happens. So you mm -hmm. can create these simulations. Maya also has a fantastic particle system allowing you to create fire, different types of wind effects with debris flying around, rain, mm -hmm. snow, etc. All of these wonderful things. The animation capabilities of Maya, fantastic. Tons of options at your fingertips to bring things to life. We're going to cover a lot of the different methods of animating inside of Maya. And then finally, rendering. When we're done getting everything set up, modeled, rigged, animated, effects thrown in, lighting, that's right, we have digital lighting, mm -hmm. we're going to be able to paint all of our objects in the scene. Once all these things are done, and they're done inside of Maya, then we're going to render out our images. That's right. Which means we're going to take our images and let Maya's rendering engine calculate how shadows are going to fall, where specularity is going to appear on surfaces, when the light needs to reflect, refract through mm -hmm. surfaces. In other words, the light's going to bend to give a distorted look. I like reflect. That works. Yeah. <laughs> reflect and re refract. Yeah, combined. kind of, kind of combine the two. That's yeah. awesome. So anyways, we're going to be taking a look at all of these things. And rendering is going to be that final step that a lot of people who are just getting into 3D take for granted. Yes, they do. When you go to watch The Incredibles in the theater or wherever you happen to see it, you see it as a 3D movie, and that's where your brain cuts off. You don't realize that you're looking at a two-dimensional rendering of a three-dimensional scene. That's right. And so that very last step is going to be to render this three-dimensional scene to turn it into that 2D movie that your audience can watch. Yep. So that's what Maya is. Yeah. Maya is a very powerful, very capable, very flexible application designed to allow a user to easily create 3D digital content. 
That's what it all boils there down to. And throughout this course, throughout many, many hours that are approaching you guys. Many hours. We're going to learn how to put all of this into motion so that you guys can create three final projects that all involve the creation of models, painting, lighting, animation, effects, and, of course, final rendering. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks a lot.